When you haven't been sleeping, your mind goes into overdrive. You are. I don't want to shut my eyes. You must be exhausted. Mm. And anxious. Mm. On a scale of one to ten, if one is totally calm... Nine. What's she been saying about me? Who? Rana. I know she's here, I know she is. Rana died, Carla. Don't you remember the accident at Underworld? Did she, though? Or are they just saying that as a test? What kind of test? Test me. Test of, um, I don't know, my badness. Is that a camera? No, that, that, that's just a little thank you present. Mm. <clears throat> Toya Battersby? Everything all right, Toya? Uh, yeah, we're fine. Thank you. You I must think I'm stupid. Oh, you're in safe hands here. What are you smelling like me for? You've always hated my guts. And always known the feeling was mutual. Are you going to be relaying this all back to your boyfriend? What we say in this room is confidential. Unless I think you're in danger. How safe do you feel? Just stay here and put your feet up for a minute. She needs a proper assessment. Can you get the crisis team? Oh, hang on. Can't she just see a doctor? No, a GP will only do what I'm doing. She needs assessing by a mental health specialist. More Yeah, but what if this section? I mean, she, she could be locked up for months. Look, she's frightened, Peter. You know, her, her grasp on reality is way off. How long? She's saying that Rana didn't really die. It was hard enough for me to get her here. I've lodged the request. And? And they're all out on calls. They're not sure when they can get to her. Well, tonight, tomorrow, next week, when? I don't enjoy saying no to people, Peter. I can't tell. But when they do get to her, she'll be in safe hands. Why don't you come through? Oh, no. No. 